the provision of a safe, efficient and reliable rail network is at the core of Brookfield Rail's business, as with any other rail infrastructure provider. Cyclical re-sleepering is required on any rail line containing timber sleepers to ensure their safe, reliable and efficient operation for the long term. This maintenance strategy is based on rail industry standard practice and Brookfield Rail's many years of experience in operating rail. Brookfield Rail does not compromise on safety and requires all its lines to conform to an industry recognized code of practice. The code of practice covers many individual components such as rail, ballast and sleepers as well as the overall track alignment. The overall track alignment is a factor of many components working together effectively and is referred to in the rail industry as track geometry. Deteriorating track geometry is the most obvious indicator that something is wrong with a line. If track geometry or any individual track component falls outside tolerances set by the code of practice, speed restrictions to trains are applied. However, they reduce efficiency of the entire line and in some cases are impractical. Before we describe how the track geometry is corrected, we first need to provide an understanding of the fundamentals of the track's construction and engineering. Brookfield Rail's lower traffic lines, such as the lines dedicated to grain, are constructed using timber sleepers. These timber sleepers have an important function as they bear the weight of the train as it travels. Historically, all sleepers in WA were timber. However, 25 to 30 years ago, Brookfield Rail introduced steel sleepers and interspersed these with the timber in a one in four or one in two pattern to increase the lateral stability of the lines and reduce the risk of derailments. Brookfield Rail's Tier 3 lines typically are a 1 and 4 pattern. That is to say there is one steel sleeper for every three timber sleepers. Whilst steel sleepers control the gauge, which is the distance between the two rails, this does not negate the need for timber sleepers, which bear the weight of the train. Consistent with rail industry standard practice and many years of experience, Brookfield Rail replaces timber sleepers cyclically every 12 to 15 years. Approximately 50 to 60 percent of the timber sleepers are replaced because they've reached the end of their life and track has returned to optimal condition. This is known as cyclical resleepering. Between cyclical resleepering projects, ongoing preventative maintenance is critical. Brookfield Rail's ongoing preventative maintenance ensures the track remains at a high standard for as long as possible before timber sleepers start to reach the end of their life. As an increasing number of timber sleepers begin to fail, so too does the track geometry. Once the track geometry falls outside the tolerances of the code of practice, speed restrictions are required. Tamping which is a process that sees a machine travel along the track and adjust components to realign the gauge, is required to correct track geometry and bring it back within code of practice tolerances. If sleepers are simply replaced, nothing is achieved because this does not fix the track geometry. Only tamping can do this. However, if timber sleepers are already in a deteriorated condition, tamping has no impact and cannot correct track geometry. This is because there are limited effective timber sleepers to support the weight of the train and keep the track up in the desired position. In fact, the use of a tamper will have the opposite effect on track geometry if timber sleepers are deteriorated. To demonstrate the situation, Brookfield Rail conducted a test on a 30-meter stretch of its Condinan to Narambeen line. This is only a sample section of track, but there are many more locations on this line where track geometry must be corrected. The Condinan to Narambeen line has one in four steel to timber pattern and last underwent timber resleepering in a cycle 15 years ago. 60 to 65% of the timber sleepers on this line have a current life of zero to four years. Due to deteriorated track geometry, speeds on the line have already been restricted to 30 km per hour, with numerous sections at 20 km per hour in accordance with the code of practice. It's impractical and in some cases impossible to reduce speed any lower because trains find it extremely difficult to navigate ruling grades. This means the trains are likely to stall on inclining grades. Tamping is the only option available to correct track geometry and bring it back to code of practice tolerances. In this 30 meter stretch, there are 40 sleepers in total to be tamped 
9 steel sleepers and 31 timber sleepers. Before tamping, 5 out of 31 timber sleepers had completely failed. As the tamper process is conducted, some of those sleepers with a life of 4 years or less are further weakened and begin to fail because of poor condition. After tamping, 11 timber sleepers have completely failed. Another 4 to 6 sleepers are weakened to the extent that it is highly likely that they will completely fail within the next few train movements. In an attempt to correct track geometry, the tamping process has resulted in the failure of 35% of the timber sleepers on this section of track, and this is likely to increase to 55% upon the next train movement. Although the track geometry looks satisfactory immediately following the tamping process, the additional six sleepers that have failed, plus the weakened state of many other timber sleepers, means it will not effectively support the weight of future train movements. Additional timber sleepers will fail and track geometry will rapidly deteriorate. Further tamping would then be required, causing more timber sleepers to fail, if they had not already failed under recent train movements. Ultimately, if you were to continue this process to replace timber sleepers that had failed and correct track geometry, it's highly likely you would have replaced the same number of sleepers had you completed cyclical resleepering. To summarize, Track geometry has deteriorated on the Tier 3 lines. Lower speed restrictions are not practical and in some cases impossible to be applied. Tamping is the only option to correct track geometry and bring the track within code of practice tolerances. If those sleepers that have failed already are simply replaced, nothing is achieved because this does not fix the track geometry. Only tamping can do this. If timber sleepers are nearing life expiry, Tamping and subsequent rail traffic has a detrimental effect on those sleepers, causing even more sleepers to fail. Replacing only failed sleepers in a reactive manner is not effective, sustainable or cost-efficient. Cyclical resleepering is the only effective solution because track is returned to its optimal condition every 12 to 15 year cycle, making it a safer, reliable and more efficient railway. Continued preventative maintenance, including tamping while the timber sleepers are still in good condition, keeps the track in optimum condition for longer. Cyclical resleepering delivers a sustainable outcome and cost efficiencies. It's for these reasons Brookfield Rail asserts that capital investment for the cyclical resleepering of Tier 3 lines is critical to the safe, reliable, and efficient operation of the Tier 3 lines. <laughs>